tackling this piece that goes from 1743, first generation Havens, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth of the Havens in Shelter Island. And I made this like large Excel spreadsheet on the wall in a way of pictures and research and photos and documentation of these 300 years. And my challenge was to make it into a work of art. So I started on this computer on the Wacom on my Excel files and I went, no, it has to be much more delicious than that and much deeper. So I started taking and printing out every photo and documentation so my um, X series goes across six generations, seven from 1743 to the present day of Shelter Island Historical House Society. And then here were, is the Y, like people, stories, emotions, structures, um, historical documentation, uh, architecture and then it all met in the middle and I would paste things where they should be um, and then it, it became this piece which then of course you can take any iPhone or iPad and and go inside and explore so you'll click on a QR code and go right inside this painting and drag your finger and go inside all the layers of the piece so here we are on a simple iPhone, and you're just looking at this piece, and there'll be a QR code on the wall, and you go, oh, what is this? It, it looks like a new form of abstract painting. And you'll go inside it, and you'll see that you can drag your finger, everybody can, and go inside the painting and say, oh, I see. Oh, there's the Declaration of Independence written by Shelter Island. Oh, it was called Heartsease. H-E-R-A-T-S-E-A-S-E, -E -E, Heartsease. And it was a meeting house and a place where people gathered through wars and wonderful times and the industrial age and so many things happening. And then of course everything is ensourced in its footnotes. So it's a new kind of art where it invites all artists in and everyone who is part of it is documented from the very beginning to the end. It's printing and programming.